Um, Mr Batten, please. Thank you very much. Uh, now, we're here to discuss the state of play of the negotiations and what progress has been made. Well, very little, uh, and there are two main reasons for that. One, of course, is that you don't want us to leave. You're going to do everything you possibly can to make it as difficult as possible, to delay it as long as possible, so that either we end up with a very, very bad deal or we reverse the decision of the referendum. The second reason, of course, is Mrs May, who simply doesn't have a clue. She has neither the courage, the will, nor the resolve to actually see these so-called negotiations through. Uh, but Mrs May has made some very serious and dangerous concessions already. What has she actually said? Fifteen months already after the referendum, nothing much has changed. She intends that we should leave the European Union on the, uh, March 2019. We will leave the Commission, we will leave the Council, we will no longer have members of the European Parliament. We've left. But nothing much very changes. Uh, nothing much at all changes. She said that we are going to incorporate all EU law into UK law and then she wants another two years transition period which will take us up to five years from the referendum during which case nothing much changes on immigration. The laws don't change and she has made one very, very, very dangerous concession which is talking about an EU treaty on security and defence. We will continue to be bound to your military ambitions. We will continue to be bound down to your security uh, policy and foreign policy and to all the police and justice, criminal police and criminal justice measures like the hated European arrest warrant. She has not got a clue and what she'll end up with is a withdrawal agreement whereby we leave in name but we do not leave in reality. Now Mr Barnier, Mr Juncker, I don't understand why you don't actually make it easy for us to leave. Why don't you kick us out as quick as possible? Because then you can get on with your ambitions for full economic, financial, political and military integration. You can create your United States of Europe, make it easy for us to go so that we can get on with pursuing our freedom and independence, prosperity and our future in the world, not in the EU. Do yourself and us a favour, please. Well.